Yo, what's up? It's your boy Mac once again, coming at you with another review. Um, I got something a little different um, this evening. You know, I wanted to try something a little different. Last video I posted was the hazy IPAs. Something I like, something I've learned to grow and love, man. But I brought, I'm bringing something a little different. I had uh, a couple friends. Say so want to see different things, so I got some ideas coming for the uh, the next few reviews based off of um, requests, I guess you could say. Um, but this was something that I kind of just stumbled across, right? And I said, you know what, man, maybe this is something that I can I can work with and and get a nice review. I've never tried either one of these beers that I'm bringing to you, so I'm gonna bring it to you real quick, right? So I'm gonna start with this one, right? I got two beers coming at you. Two beers coming at you, man. Um, I'm going to slide this one to the side, and I'm going to start with this one. So, this is a a, a pretty well-known um, brand of beer, uh, Dogfish Head. Um, it's a Sequench Ale. It's a Session Sour. Uh, it's coming out at 4.9 ABV, so nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy. But I got it, man, because as you can see, lime juice... You know, lime, blah, blah, blah. So, it's a lime flavor. It's an ale brewed with lime and sea salt, right? So, I said, you know, I'm going to give this a try. Both of these beers that I have tonight are lime-based or lime, they have some type of lime flavor to it. So, I said, I'm going to compare two different ones and bring it with it. So, without further ado, as the name of the, as the, name of the channel is called, it's Beer 30. So, let's get it rocking. Let's see. Let's see what's up with it. So as you can see, forms a very, very, very large head. Um, so I'm going to let it break down a little bit while it's breaking down a little bit. Um, let's see a little bit about it. So um, this is Dogfish Head Craft Brewery based out of Milton, Delaware. So any uh, Delaware heads that are out there. This is where they based out of, man. It's something um, that you can get with. This is interesting because this is a this is a brew that is a collaboration with the National Aquarium. So that's pretty dope. You know, it says it right on the back for you. So I know it's backwards for y'all, but that's pretty dope. So now that it's starting to go down a little bit, let's see what we got real quick. I'm going to get a little smell as always. Oh, that's... Hold up. That's crazy. So, right. It's def it's a pale ale. So, you can smell that, right? You can smell that pretty quick. But th it's crazy because I see exactly why this is a collaboration with, with the National Aquarium. It almost smells like a, like a fresh breeze coming off the ocean. Like, for real. All jokes aside. Like... Like you get that that you get that sea salt, and then with the you know the aromas of the ale, it just it kind of smells like a summer day, like early in the morning. If you ever been on the beach when the sun's coming up and you get that nice breeze, that's that's almost what it reminds me of, man. So let's see what this thing tastes like. Oh. I like this, man. This is pretty good. Um, the lime is heavy. And the sea salt actually isn't as heavy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more saltier than this. Um, it seems like they wanted to go light on it. They wanted it to kind of balance out the lime, but the lime to still be very very prominent. So as you can see, um, and, and as I can taste, it is very prominent. It's pale. It's got a little haziness to it. Obviously, it's just a uh, an ale. Um, but you can see it's got a little haziness to it, but it's pretty light, man. It's a really light beer. This this is something you, you sit out on the beach, you kick back, kick your feet up, watch the kids play, watch, you know, the family interact, friends interact, whatever it is that you're doing. This is something that you kick back and you sip on. Like, I could drink this, man, especially now. It's hot out here in Texas, so. that's It's refreshing. It's refreshing. It honestly is, um. If you're not a lime person, I would stay away from it. Um, 
but if you like lime and you can deal with those lime flavors now it's much better like if you the thing that jumps out is but like lime right so like it it's way better than that though way better than that in my opinion um so it's not that type you know where it, feel, it feels art, artificial it, it's smooth it blends perfectly together so no complaints there so let's jump on over uh to this one let's bring it up so you can see it all right so this is uh, Blue Owl Brewing. It's actually the first time I've ever had a beer by them. This is based out of uh, Austin, Texas. It's a sour mash. So this is a sour Mexican lager, but it's uh, lime and salt. So once again, I went with the same, the same flavor palette as I went for on the last beer. Um, I like the can, man. This jumps out at you. And that's what made me pick it off the shelf, honestly. I never heard of it. It wasn't... Something that I went for because of, uh, you know, recommendation. I just kind of saw it walking in uh, the store that I was at. So, uh, let's see. This one again is it's a little less. Um, this one is a 4.6 ABV. So, it's a little lighter than this. Uh, but, nonetheless, something you could probably enjoy. Let's see. I love that sound, as always. See what type of head it gets. So as you see, it doesn't develop as much of a head as that one. Now, obviously, it's different glasses, so that's going to make a difference in the type of head. But it's very, very, got a lot of bubbles forming around it when you pour it. It almost looks like it's a cider, almost. Um, but let's see. Um, this is actually a lot more... Uh, it's, it produces a lot more um, bubbles around the glass than I've ever seen on a lager. So I'm interested to see what this is all about. Let me see what it smells like. Okay. Um, so with this one, man, it smells similar to this one, right? But with this one, it's kind of the opposite. I smell the lime in this one. More than I smelled the lime in that one. That one, like I said, smelled like that su that summer breeze coming off the ocean in the morning. I smelled the lime more in this one. So I'm interested to see what kind of flavors it brings straight out. So let's see what we got. Nice. So this is another one that's pretty good, man. This is my first time ever having anything by them, um, and I'm not I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all. Uh, so for, so for those who may have never tasted this, once again, it's Blue Owl Brewing, uh, based out of Austin, Texas. Uh, again, I know Dogfish Head is a lot more popular of a brand, um, but this is something new for me. Uh, I like it. So what I notice about this one is they are both very lime heavy this one though you taste the salt more but it doesn't give you that feel that you like are drinking a, a beer with salt around the rim it's not quite that salty it doesn't give you that much of a hit but it gives you enough of a hit to where the flavors almost equally balance each other this one the uh dogfish excuse me the dogfish head one like i said uh was lime heavy, but you could taste the salt a little bit, right? But this one seems like they kind of, they took the route where I want to I wanna equal it out. You know, I want you to feel like you added salt and lime to this beer. Um, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with me um, with that. Uh, so I, I don't have no problems with that. I like the way that tastes. Um, it, it's, it's good. I can I, I could drink both of these, man. But they both, this one, the Dogfish Head one, that gives you that summer day, just chill out beer. Um, this is like... It almost gets you like, let's have some fun. Let's do some stuff. We out, we, we kicking it with the homies. We having a good time. And we just kind of sitting back, you know, joking, laughing, shooting the shit and drinking some beer. I like that, man. So both of them give you a very good, happy state of mind, which, hey, for me, is always a good day. Yeah, no complaints. So once again, I'm going to bring them back. Hey, so you can see the two cans once again. Um, at... Well, based off of looks, I like this can a lot more. But if I had to pick one that I would want to drink more. Um, 
If I had to pick one, I would want to drink more. I think I would pick the blue eye. And that actually is surprising to me because when I first took the first few, uh, couple sips, I liked this one better. Um, but that one kind of grew on me pretty quickly. So the one thing I would uh, want to point out about this one is be aware that as you, when you first, don't judge it off its first couple sips. Get what you can get out of it, but let it marinate because as I drank it a little bit more, I felt the flavors kind of pop a little bit more and, they, and it blended better um, together to me. So is definitely this one I would probably pick first um, because the taste that's the, the aftertaste that's lingering is uh, very very pleasant very pleasant I have no complaints about it at all but also like I said the state of mind I like to have fun man and this what this what this mood kind of reminds me of is like I'm about to go kick it with the homies like I said again man so uh, but both great if you like lime with your beer if you like salt with your beer both of these to me i don't feel like you can go wrong um you know if you if you want a little bit more lime go with this one because it, the lime in this isn't overbearing but it, it's perfect right it's it's not overbearing but it's it's just enough to make you be like wow that's what i was looking for if you want a good balance go with this one because you're going to get the saltiness but you're also going to get the lime um and they balance out very well. So I have no complaints about either one of these. Um, and, and I would drink these again. So let me get these out of the way, man. Once again, I'm Matt. And I was coming to you with another review. Um, I brought something different. You know, I wanted to bring something different. Hopefully, I'll be bringing another review in less than a week. Hope, very soon, actually. Um, uh, and I'm going to be... Bringing some different stuff. I don't like to stick with just the the pro quo pro quo stuff that everybody drinks. I will do your your typical uh, regular IPAs and your ales, your blondes, but I'm also going to do some craft beers that are dessert like and things of that nature. I'm going to bring a bunch of different stuff, man, that people may have never had heard of or never tried. Um, and that's the for me that's the goal of this whole thing, man. So, like I said, it's your boy Matt coming to you. With another review. Why? Because it's beer 30. And when it's beer 30, you got to knock it back. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all time. Hope to see y'all again. And I'm going to be bringing an Instagram page. So be sure to follow it. The link will be coming soon. Be easy.